Okay, so for today's review, we're gonna review this Bauer Supreme 1S. And this is one of the sticks that I bought from Hockey Stickman. It was repaired right here. I purchased it for $90 back in 2018. That was included shipping. So let's take a look at the curve. It's a P92, 82 flex, 1SO2, SSE, uh, 1SSE. Um, and then this belonged to uh, Karen's from RIT. So I did a review on this stick probably about when I got it in 2018. And I wanted to make another one, you know, when I was done with it. I don't know where that review went. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's always been in my head. So I figured I'm just going to, you know, go ahead and make another one right now. So this was my first repaired stick that I ever bought. It was weird because when I got it, this thing looked brand new. There wasn't even a scuff on it, no tape, nothing. Um, but it was obviously broken in half. It, what it appeared to me was like either A, somebody sawed it in half and gave it to this guy and said, you know, here. Or B, someone flexed it in the locker room and broke it because for some reason. And then they uh, gave it to this hockey stick man because there was no... There, it wasn't even taped on the top. It was kind of odd. But we'll get into the playing with it. First impression, I liked it. Um, it was a really nice stick. Felt like a 1S. The thing was, I could feel, you know, I felt a little bit of weight down where the repair was. And the flex was, what, like an 80 flex? 82 flex? So it hit a lot of flex, uh, for sure. It, it wasn't stiff. It didn't. The repair didn't make it stiff at all. It actually made it almost feel... You know, have it a little bit more whip to it maybe a little bit of whip in a different area um so i used this stick back and forth back and forth um it was supposed to be a practice stick i started using it for games i liked it that much it it, it was really a good stick see the brake didn't affect the feel of the blade which is you know one of the most important parts it might affect put a little bit of weight there in the shaft but you know the blade felt fine and it felt blade like so I kept using it and then I kept this stick, you know, going in my repertoire for, you know, uh, probably a good year and a half. This stick, I wanted to get something similar to my favorite Total One NXG. And this was almost, this was the next step up at the time. So this definitely met my expectations. It kind of felt like the um, Total One NXG. As far as weight, I think the stick weighed maybe... 420 grams uh, plus or minus you know 15 for the um, repair in the, right in the middle of the stick this stick lasted and it, it went through a, it took a beating I mean I use this stick a lot I was using it for practices drills just you know when you line up take a hundred slap shots with pucks and you know this thing did not see any damage and eventually I, I kept going back to it um, I didn't want to let it go. So obviously that proves that it was a good stick. Um, you know, when you keep bringing it out, bringing it out, you know, you're like, I really like this stick. What's special about it is Bauer stopped doing these college logos. This is one of the last sticks where they had custom logos like that RIT logo. Um, the thing I, I really liked the P92 curve on my, uh, total one NXG. So I wanted to get a P92 on here, which I did. I didn't like the P92. This was the last stick I really bought with the P92 curve. I don't know. I just didn't like the flex in the curve of the P. The P92 with the 80 flex was just weird for me. Just after going back to heel curves for so long that I just, I don't know. I just, I'm not the biggest advocate of the P92 anymore. Just as far as shooting, I got so used to shooting off the heel in like the couple years between the NXG and this stick that, I don't know, I just kind of wish I would have got a different curve, but it's a solid curve and I, I brought it out for my one first game of the season when I was playing and I blocked a shot and it broke in half and that was the end of it. Uh, it was a little bit sad, but you know, it had to happen and uh, kind of not disappointed it went out that way it did its you know it paid its dues i thought it was a good stick and um i held off buying repaired ones for a little while after this and just recently i bought another repaired which you know i wanted to make this review then 
you know, on a repaired stick because I never had one on a repaired stick yet. So if anyone wants to buy a repaired stick, I think it's a good deal. I would rather have one with a little bit of weight in a section of the shaft like this rather than, you know, 